welcome back to our tutorials on compound interests, where we are taking a closer look at how we can calculate the four different variables within our compound interest formula. Now, as you know, compound interest is a staple to your financial mathematics content, so let's get straight into it. Now, for calculating P, or our principal, we have this problem here to start off with. We have been asked to determine the principal amount so that our investment can grow to $12,500 across five years. Given that this investment has an interest rate of 4.3% per annum that's compounded quarterly. We've also been told to round our final answer to the nearest $100. So like with any financial mathematics question, it is always best that we identify which of the four variables we have at our disposal. Now, the first thing we've been asked to do is to determine the principal amount. So it's safe to say that our principal is going to be unknown. We also want this investment to grow to $12,500. So we have our final investment amount. This is across five years. So we're going to have an N of five However, this investment is compounding quarterly. So that means within these five years, there's going to be four times per year where our interest is compounding. So our N is actually going to be 20 compounding periods. We've also been given an interest rate of 4.3%, but that interest rate is per annum. So this is the interest rate covering a one year period of time. We want the interest rate that matches one quarter of a year. So to get there, we are going to divide this by four. Now you may leave your interest rate as a fraction or you can place it as a decimal. However, if you're ever dealing with some not so nice decimals or you feel the need to round it, it's best to keep your interest rate as a fraction for overall accuracy of your solution. Now that we've identified three out of our four variables, we're going to place it into our compound interest formula and solve for our unknown principal. So we've been given an A value of 12,500. Our principal is unknown. We have one plus our interest rate of 0.043 on four. And all of this is to the power of 20. Now we want to isolate this variable P. The easiest way to do this is to remember that this variable P is joined to this expression with the brackets by a multiplication sign. So we can take this entire expression here and take it away from the variable P by dividing both sides by this expression. This is what it's going to look like before you put it into your calculator. We're going to have 12,500 all divided by this expression in the brackets. There. Typing that in, it gives us a principal amount of $10,093.34. However, we need to remember that in the question here, we've been asked to give our final answer rounded to the nearest $100. Therefore, the amount to be invested will be $10,100. And that is a closer look at how we can take our compound interest formula, isolate the variable P and solve for that initial investment amount. Happy solving. Let me know in the comments below how you went with your compound interest problems. And don't forget to also comment if there's any additional topic videos that you want to see here.